everybody, welcome back to Left Paul Gaming. Today we've got some more of my walkthrough footage of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Last video, we explored more of the mind in that fancy animus with Layla. We actually got to take control of her in real time and go into the animus there and find the reader. This video is the finale of the story arc in the Hall of the Slain. We get to tie up one story arc. This is one of the several endings of the game. Let's jump in. So we're out of her. Oh. Whoa. Revived in real time. Are you with me. I'm with you. It worked perfectly, my dear. Holy cow. Is the mad one here? No, my love. Only we remain. And Layla. <sighs> the air of memories fulfilled her role perfectly. Mm. Now then, a new world awaits. Oh my god, seriously? Sean, Bex, I. I had a choice, and I chose to stay. You'll wonder where I am. Oh you might wonder God. if I am. I don't know how to answer that, but I'm not afraid, and I'm not alone. Yeah, I'm with Desmond. <laughs> we have work to do, work that may take us days or years. It's impossible Maybe it's to not say, Desmond. but we'll finish it. What I mean is, don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and and too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world we still have. And take care of You see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. Whoa. A manner of speaking. Jesus, we have to find her. You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case. There's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you? You left her there. <laughs> this... This is all a bit much. I know... I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. Yeah, you traitor. Like, they know what you did to Eivor. We're assassins now. Not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishim. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. Hmm. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. Yeah. I mean, he really has been fighting him for that long. He's clearly not a Templar. I won't go right? anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. But he might How be... How much do you know? The embodiment My of Loki, dear, bro. We invented such oh. things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. Okay. That's so crazy. <laughs> I 
you know, for how bloated this game has been, there's a lot of really sweet tie-ins. Like, connecting all these different stories. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. <laughs> and now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use. To find my children. And bring my family back together. Hmm. It makes some of the things he said about, A like... A quiet place to find an end. I almost envy you. It makes some of the things that he said about, like, having lost his family have more gravity. Like, if Basim knew and understood that he's been Loki the whole time... Hello, little fella. That has pretty strong implications. Like, his mind was open to it. Not as much as, like, Ava, well, more so than Eivor and Sigurd, because Eivor just kind of had the visions, dismissed it, probably assumed that other people had similar things, too, like Odin always trying to coerce the greatest warriors into doing the most glory-filled things. Same thing with Sigurd, except Sigurd took the step of thinking that he was Odin Tools himself instruments of torture. when he was really oh, Tyr, oh. and what if Basim knew the whole time? And because he knew and had that opening, like, the conversation between Eivor and Odin, like, because Eivor was so, like, restrained and held back, like, they were still two separate people. But Basim's like, Loki? Dope. And then Loki takes over. How crazy is it if that's actually, like, how it went down? Mm, magical. Is it wishful thinking oh my God. to believe this device has a thought interface? Do I really have to use my hands and voice? Let's see what's on here. Oh my god. Look at all the exclamation marks. So many. So many things to click through. Oh, corrupted file. Nothing. So this is Layla's letter. I'm not going to go through everything. All right, so what else? What else is in here? Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all garbage must be packed out. And please water the plants <laughs> once a day. Poor little plant. I looked like you not long ago. That's for sure. So I definitely want to explore a lot of this because we haven't spent, like, any time in the real world here. The entirety of this game has literally been in the Animus. Lots of notes here. Huh. Evolution does work in language as well. That's interesting. There's lots of good tidbits of information. Like, the cool thing is, like, these people are so, like, intelligent and smart with history that all the things that they discover through the Animus, like, really helps them, inf helps inform them and make greater understanding. Which is probably how things really happen, but... The, the great thing about games like this is, like, historical fiction intrigues the hell out of me. Because it's like, okay, we take history, but we manipulate certain facts of it to put other things there. Like, it's still how it was, but there was this influence of the fictional portion. It's like, oh, damn, that's so cool. I don't know why I like that so much. It's just so damn intriguing, but... Yeah, I love historical fiction. The 
historical fantasy fiction. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. I like when they take real history and put fantastical spins on it, like this. Well the done, whole thing man. of to something. Assassin's Creed is like, okay, there's always been this hidden organization pulling the strings, two of them, actually, fighting, one with a much more prevalent influence, right? Showing themselves off a lot because they're, you know, high members of the church or leaders of specific areas, like... The assassin just kind of did their thing, and people don't know who they are, like, at all. But regular people could be like, oh, yeah, I know that guy. Be like, that's a Templar. Anyway, I'm rambling just because there's all kinds of awesome things. While I'm trying to read this at the same time. That's nuts. That was a reference to Black Flag. So since I didn't play the last two games to completion, it's interesting to see that some of these ancient people were just like gods of certain kinds, like Odin, Loki, and all them, right? They were the some of these ancient people just like um, A few days the most. Roman gods. So here we go. That's so crazy to me. Into the Animus. Oh, that's... that's nothing. Back to Ravensthorpe. Oh my god! So now we're... seeing Eivor's life through Basim's eyes, who realistically had just died at the point <laughs> before we're coming back to this so like he's Eivor's getting hurt and Bassam's probably in there just watching like hm, I did that <laughs> like how stupid but it's real you gotta think of like the implications of Bassam surviving from the time period we're looking at now and now going back to look at this time period to see people that he had just so vividly seen the last time that his eyes were truly open in this world he's like how mind-bending <laughs> oh my god I can't handle it I can't hey, oh, people are excited Tovi Tovi welcome home I feel like they're trying to showcase changes, and I don't notice anything that's changed. Because I've put a bunch of work into making Ravenstorp pretty awesome. You missed a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment, and rest. Sigurd. Why do you want me to sit down? For me. Why do you want me to sit in this chair? Like, he was for real about making me Jarl. Look at that. It'd be funny if the first thing he said was, We need a better chair. <laughs> Gift of the gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I, um... He's like, yeah, it's exactly what you think. He just handed the reins over. Eivor's returned! Inside of the hearth, come! Your secret is no longer safe. <laughs> Eivor? Rangvi? What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. 
Will you speak to your people? Oh, that kind of gave me chills, like. For love and joy, words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when. No. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Interesting. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steep, my words gain wings. I've heard this song so much while we're on the boats. Oh, winds me, I fall with ring. That's Sigurd Woods, uh, Connor was just too. Fight for we who fall. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was really weird. In the Hall of the Slain, arc completed. Dang. All right, then. All right, guys. We're going to cut this video off right here. That was officially one of the endings to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But that's just the ending for, like, Eivor getting to the point where he's the Jarl. Because in Layla's time, everybody knew him as a Jarl, right? He was, you know, a great leader and everything like that. But we don't know how his body gets to be where they are at that little cabin in the woods that they're at. So, when we come back, there's still some more for us to do. We have wrapped up the official story arc of how Eivor became to be the leader of the Raven Clan and him and Sigurd's story arc. Now, we're going to come back and wrap up the Assassin's Creed portion of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, as usual, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you guys in the next video.